This video is presented by Print23D. Hey everyone, it's Bradley at Print23D, www.printo3d.com. I have some requests to show uh, how the SST uh, support removal process works. SST stands for Soluble Support Technology. Um, the machine here, the gray machine, which is the Dimension 1200ES, uses SST technology. Um, basically what happens is these parts here are fresh out of the machine. And since you can't build in air, you have to have support in the FDM modeling process. Now, if you don't know, FDM stands for Fused Deposition Modeling. Now, as you can see, this part right here has an overhang going across like this. Now, since it has an overhang, it had to build supports so it could build that overhang. Now, to get those supports removed, I have to put them in, in a parts bath, which I'll show you later. First, we have to remove the parts from the 10 by 10 inch build tray, which is the build area I have, as well as 12 inches high in the dimension 1200ES. So, I'll show you how to remove the uh, parts from the plastic build tray, and then we'll go over to the parts bath and put the parts in the, uh, the bath so we can remove the supports. By the way, these parts are for the RepRap Extruder 1.1 version. Uh, the RepRap is an open source uh, 3D printer project. So let's go ahead and remove these, these models. First thing you want to do is crack the tray just by twisting the tray itself. Okay, so this one's removed in here. Sometimes we have to use the X-Acto knife. Okay, as you can see, some of the supports are still stuck to the uh, build tray. I'm going to go ahead and show you this part with the overhang I was showing you before. So all this here has the overhang and you can see I had to build up all this support uh, to build the part. Actually we can break away some of this support uh, by hand. So I'll go ahead and snap that off and there you have the bottom of the part and the uh, supports for that. As well here's another uh, part. Also, we can peel some of this support off this model here. I just broke that off. This stuff is pretty brittle, but it's pretty sharp at the same time. Okay, so I've broken away most of the support by hand. Um, some of the more complex stuff is going to dissolve in the uh, parts bath. Sometimes it's just better just to break away most of it because it speeds up the, uh, the process itself because uh, the thicker it is and the smaller areas that it in, that the uh, supports in the longer it takes to dissolve. So here's that part. I broke away most of the support that was here before um, just to show you what it looks like. I'm, I left some of the more difficult stuff to get off in the uh, parts bath. Um, anyways, you can see my, uh, my workbench is littered with uh, pieces I broke away. If you want, I'll, I'll show you uh, just a little piece. It just breaks apart. So let's go ahead and take these seven parts over to the parts bath and uh, show you how that works. Here we are over at the parts bath. Go ahead and take the camera off the tripod. Okay, this here is the heater and the circulator unit. As you can see, it's reading 70 degrees Celsius. Now what's in the parts bath is about 10 gallons of water and the Stratasys Waterworks chemical, which is basically a powder. As you can see, it's kind of murky in there. That's all that's in there is the 
water and the Stratasys Waterworks chemical. Okay, so here are the parts. I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off. So I gotta go pull the basket out of the tank here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these parts in the little basket I have. That's basically all there is to it. Just put the parts under the water. This here is just a net. Uh, you can put parts in there as well. I'm just going to leave that in there for now. So that's basically it. A uh, couple hours from now, maybe about four hours or so actually, um, most of the support should be dissolved from the parts and we can go ahead and rinse them off and uh, ship them off to the customer. Okay, so it's been approximately two hours since we put the parts in. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Okay, so I just rinsed the parts off in the sink since they're very hot from being in the parts bath. As you can see, most of the supports are dissolved from this part here. <clears throat> so this part's almost done. Um, as well as this part I showed you before. Um, it's still working on removing supports. Most of them are dissolved as well. This one here again is mostly dissolved. It has a little bit of uh, support left right here and right here. Basically in the area of the holes. As I said before, it takes longer to remove the supports from smaller features. So let's go ahead and put them back in the bath. And okay, so the parts should be done now. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how they are. Okay, so all the parts are all complete. All these supports are dissolved from the parts. Uh, here's the final part with all the supports removed. Now I just gotta take them over to the sink and rinse them off and then dry them and then we can ship them. We have the finished rip wrap parts. They're all dried off and uh, they are ready to ship out to the customer here. Just give you a, a close-up view of what the parts look like. That's basically all there is to the SST process. Print the parts, break them off the build tray, uh, put them in your, your parts bath. Um, wait a couple hours, depending on how complex the part is. Sometimes it could take you know, eight hours or longer, or sometimes it could take, you know, two hours. It depends on how much support is required uh, to print the parts. But that's it. So let's go ahead and package these parts up and chip them off. Thanks for watching.